Today, I went outside. My main goal was to get Pokemon Snap. You gotta go to a GameStop and they don't have Pokemon Snap, of course. But they do have three packs of Digimon cards. I can't find these things everywhere and I found three packs. So that's pretty cool. I went to Walmart and eventually found Pokemon Snap. Let's go. On my way home, I was like, I ran out of my like VA energy stuff. Let me go get some at the local, what are they called? King Colon. People who don't know, King Colon is kind of like a Winn-Dixie to your Publix. I guess that only works for Floridians, but it's, it's you usually have your premium grocery store and then you have your other grocery store. Yeah, this is the other grocery store. They didn't have my V8 energy drinks, but they did have like some Poland Spring little box thing. And I didn't go in with a card. I thought I was gonna grab one thing and go. So I have on my arm two of these like Poland Spring sparkling water four pack things. Just little boxes, right? I, I carry it with one hand, but it's not comfortable. And on the way out, I see Oh, actually, I have a visual demonstration. It fell. On my way out, I see these good things. And I'll tell you right now, these are kind of dog shit. So I have these balancing on top of my arm. There's two Poland Spring boxes. They're, you know, they're filled with, you know, water. And, you know, if I move a little bit, it could fall off, shit like that. So I go to the self-checkout, and I check out the stuff. I'm like, no, I don't need a freaking bag. Get out of here. Don't need no stupid bag. I walk past the self-checkout area right and back right behind this person who's watching the self-checkout area and this was clearly like a podium that they put after the fact in these like lottery machines and stuff like that you know there's also drinks and stuff and one of the vending machines is just cards baseball cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards and then Pokemon cards but everything else has packaging everything else is in you know proper pro proper plastic except for the pokemon cards which are wrapped up like this with these pieces of paper stuck on them so these pokemon cards are, are calling to me i'm like i have to know i have to freaking know and i'm like oh i have two five dollar bills it takes fives let me let me spend ten dollars worth of pokemon cards considering that the thirty dollar pack is five dollars on its own so i'm like i'll get one thirty pack and then i'll get like you know one of each of the other ones or whatever, right? I put the two $5 bills in. I'm expecting it, it rings up the 10 and it does. It says $10 and I just punch in the, you know, D5, 7, 6, 4, 5, you know, and I just punch it all in and just go boop, 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 boop. It just drops one after the other. I'm holding all this shit. I don't have time to like fuck around or whatever. So I put all the money in at once. I do D7, D7, I get my Pokemon Black Star Rare, a dollar and fifty cents, and all eight dollars and fifty cents in quarters comes fucking pouring out of the goddamn coin slot at the bottom. It just starts fucking funneling through. I'm losing my mind. I'm inches away from the employee who's overseeing like the uh, the self checkout area. I know she's fucking looking at me. I know the person all across the store. The fucking manager is looking at me. And the guy right behind me, you know, he's checking this shit out and then all he has to fucking hear, ting, 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 ting. You know, I'm just like, fuck, my anxiety is like through the roof. I'm like, well, I'm already here. I'm not gonna fucking walk out with like nine dollars and quarters. So I start shoveling some of the quarters back in. I'm tackling the next pack of cards. And it's a dollar fifty, and I type in, you know, B seven or whatever, and just not fucking working. It's not working. It just keeps bringing up my total. I'm like, am I putting enough in? It says a dollar fifty, and I do this like three or four times, and half of the shit was labeled incorrectly. And I'm bending over, trying to like get to the fucking coins and shit like that, which is like causing traffic because this is how you get out of the fucking place. And the the person overseeing the baggage area, the the self checkout area was also in the way so i'm like constantly like being interrupted i have to like stand up and get the fuck out of the way and the guy behind me start like who's already like ringing shit up and i'm like all right i know this guy's fucking like staring at me and shit but maybe he wasn't because this guy starts fucking freaking out he's like i can't believe this fucking machine and i'm like i didn't get the fuck out of here what am i doing i'm just trying to shovel these goddamn quarters in and the fucking labels are all wrong so i have to put in more coins than i have to so so I'm putting like $4 of, of, of fucking coins in, paying the $1.50 one, it charges $2, and then all the fucking other coins come pouring right out. So after doing that for probably about 
what felt like an eternity. I, I managed to walk away with, I got these three, these three right here, and this star pack of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is the unlabeled one. I don't know how much this cost me, probably about $2. I can see it right now. And I'll tell you what, this is not worth $2 remotely. It's a fucking, hold on, it's a fucking Grimer. It's a reverse hollow Grimer. This isn't worth shit. This isn't worth anything. This is garbage. This is gonna be our Pokemon Black Star Rare. Wow, I didn't know what that meant until I started looking at it. And it's just literally, it's not even hollow, it's not anything. And the black star, which is right here, is just identifying what packs, like pack system it's from. It's not a rarity symbol. Is this real? I don't think this is fucking real. No, it's not fake, but it's a piece of shit. 30 different Pokemon cards. This cost me $5 and probably about $20 worth of freaking headache. All right, we got Clefairy, Deerling, Seedop, Pennyward, Taillo, Dewat, Goldeen, Brush something, Bow Toy. Ew, this one's, whoever this one is, is stuck. Grumpig, Mirny, Hypno, Morpeko, Murkrow. Wait, they're all like together. So that was a couple of uh, dark cards. We just went through some psychic cards and the first batch was uh, water cards. So this should be a batch of dragon cards. Dratini, no, just yellow cards. Togodomaru, Hypnotop. Oh, it's kind of raining true. Rylu, Hip. Botas, Hitmachan, Piers, Sonia, the Pokeball, Potion, Rotom Phone, Energy, 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 Energy. Wait, is this hollow? Oh, oh my god, we actually got a freaking hollow from this. Wow, it's actually pretty cool too. A Tepig from the, uh, this is actually a brand new set. What? That means someone went in there recently, made this pack of shit cards, and then sold it for $5. Who's making these vending machines? This is insane. All right, well, I mean, this is most certainly not worth $10 worth of cards, but I will take this Tepig any day. This is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's not total garbage. All right, I thought we were gonna get out of here with absolutely just getting 100% shafted on. We're only getting like 90% shafted on. And then we also got this uh, star pack, which we'll just open right here. I don't even know if there's anything good in it. Uh, this guy's kind of hollow. Thor, Lord of the Seer. I don't even know. Here, I'll just show everything at once. Three cards, really? What the fuck? Oh, wait, it needs to be foil? Okay, well, if this was star foil, it'd be $10. This card, on the other hand, is $1.50. All right, well. Actually, it paid for itself, which is, um, you know, more than I could ever imagine. We have Digimon cards. Actually, you guys want to see my only Digimon card experience so far? So, when the Digimon cards first came out, actually probably a few months after, here in America, and it was a whole snafu and everything, but they were doing a lot of giveaways, and I won one! So, let's see what you win if you win a Digimon giveaway. You do win some Dragon Ball Z cards, and then you win this which is like a big folder type thing. This is what the back looks like. Get ready for it. Oh, a couple of freaking awesome cards. I wish I had a better camera for this, but you guys get the point. Pure Dramon Dragon Mode. Holy shit. All right, we gotta check sold. Hold on, we're not. We're gonna tamper expectations until we sort by sold items. Holy shit! Is this card I have? The one in my hand, dude. This is selling for like thirty-five bucks. Let's freaking go! Thirty-four dollars and sixty cents plus thirty-one dollars and thirty-two cents shipping. So yesterday. Ooh, let's go, oh, dude, someone paid like $60 with shipping for this thing. Look at the difference. Look how we go from like, you know, this is where it started. And now here we are with these. There's a certain charm to, uh, to, to that original art. You know what I mean? Anyone could draw it. And anyone did draw it. 15 bucks for this guy. Yeah, 15, 15. He has an alt art that goes for like 45. That would be insane. 
All right, well, Digimon cards are freaking insane. All right, now, you know, if this follows the Pokemon formula, then typically, uh, oh, I put this. Waifus tend to be uh, valued a little bit higher. And I was absolutely correct. This is about, someone bought it for $6, someone bought it for $4. All right, about $5. Nice safe spot for now, right over there. And then we're gonna get Pokemon Snap going here.